Since the beginning of time humans have traveled. Food, water, safety or acquisition of resources, trade, were the early travel motivations. But the idea of travel for pleasure or exploration soon emerged. Travel has always depended upon technology to provide the means or mode of travel. The earliest travelers walked or rode domesticated animals. The invention of the wheel and the sail provided new modes of transportation. Each improvement in technology increased individuals' opportunities to travel. Nowadays tourism is one of the world's fastest growing industries as income is generated by the spending and services required by tourists. It also gives rise to many jobs. The tourism is therefore very important to the well-being of many countries. This is the stuff that changed the world. Along with a handful of other things, television and the computer for example, the ability to travel the world freely sets those who live in the late 20th and early 21st century apart from those who lived before it. Individual telemade or independent holidays have steadily become more popular. Nowadays people are taking short to yet more diverse holidays. Tourism is the temporary short-term movement of people to destinations outside the places where they normally live and work, and their activities during the stay at these destinations. It basically should not last longer than one consecutive year. The World Tourism Organization employs three criteria to determine if a trip is tourism, displacement, as transport, even my bike, horse or on foot, purpose. It is important that you are not going to receive payment for this activity, and duration, a stay should not last longer than one consecutive year. One of the main components of tourism, accessibility, refers to the ability for tourists to get to the destination. This mostly includes transportation, which needs to be regularly scheduled, economical, safe and comfortable. There are three types of transportation, surface, transportation land through roadways and railways, by cars, buses or trains. It is the cheapest means of transportation. Air transportation through airways, to travel long distance. Long haul flights are increasing and are making far away places easier to get to. Water transportation. Since the 19th century, the innovation of shipping technology. The second component of tourism is accommodation. This means that tourists have a place to stay upon reaching their destination and a way to get food. The type of accommodation also varies according to the location, for instance, a stay in the mountains may re require a cabin or a place to pitch tents. Other accommodations include hotels, motels, inns, guest houses, youth hostels, farmhouses, campsites. The third and arguably the most important component of tourism is attraction. This means that the destination needs to have some draw that makes tourists want to visit. It is possible to classify them as natural or built. Built or man-made attractions are for example historical buildings, festivals, casinos concerts etc. Natural attractions are for instance climate, landscape, wildlife, caves etc. The movement of people to and from tourist destinations produces tourism flows. Domestic tourism occurs when tourists visit destinations in their own country. Borders of nation are not crossed, there is no change of currency or language. Inbound tourism covers a visit to a country by non-residents of that country. Outbound tourism involves people traveling to destinations in a different country. International tourism is where tourists explore new tourism environment, entering into a new country or by leaving their country of origin for experiencing new destinations. International tourism requires lots of formalities like a valid visa, passport or immigration. The, the tourism, tourism industry, industry is, is one, one of the most diversified, customized and, and specialized industries. Now, now we, are we are going to introduce some of the most popular, popular types of tourism, tourism worldwide where, where tourists are categorized, categorized by, by the purpose of their visit. visit. Leisure, Leisure tourism governs any activity we undertake in our free time and which produces pleasure.
This includes health tourism, sports tourism, both watching and participating, educational travel, cultural and historical travel, etc. Some of these we are going to discuss in details. Leisure tourism can mean anything from excursions, day trips and weekend breaks to package holidays, pleasure cruises and longer independent trips such as such as hang or treks or treks in, the in the mountains. It also includes, it also includes cultural, trips. cultural trips, for example, for example music, festivals, music festivals, study tours study and tours religious, and religious trips. trips. Medical tourism involves people who travel to a different place, hospitals, clinics, spas, wellness resorts for medical care, health and beauty, relaxation, recovery and rehabilitation treatments to receive treatment for a disease, health condition or a surgical procedure, and who are seeking lower cost of health care and higher quality of care. Medical tourism services include medical facilitation, travel arrangements, accommodation, transportation and tour packages. Wellness tourism includes massages, body treatments, facial treatments, exercise facilities and programs, weight loss programs, nutrition programs, pre and post operative spa treatment and mind, body programs. Cultural tourism or sometimes referred to as heritage tourism is the division of tourism concerned with the region's culture, specifically the lifestyle and history of the people, their art, architecture, religion and other elements. Cultural tourism includes cultural facilities such as museums, theatres and festivals. This is one of the most popular types of tourism and attracts tourists from different parts of the world. There have been cultural and heritage holidays since the beginnings of modern tourism and the Grand Tour of Europe undertaken by the upper classes in the 18th century. Nowadays such holidays involve anything in which the purpose of the visit is increased knowledge and understanding of other people and their culture. Adventure tourism is an outdoor activity that generally takes place in an unusual, remote or a wilderness area. This adventure Euros activity can take place in the sea, in rivers, in the air, in mountains and is associated with high levels of physical activity. There are many types of products and services that fall within the adventure tourism category such as, bungee jumping, mountaineering expeditions, rafting, rock climbing, diving, windsurfing, paragliding and many more. Very often these tours require preparation and special training. First the tour instructors will plan the itinerary. Then they will train tourists how to use sporting equipment. Sports tourism refers to international travel either for viewing or participating in a sporting event. Examples include international sporting events such as the Olympics, World Cups, soccer, rugby or athletics, tennis, golf and Formula One Grand Prix. Business tourism can be defined as travel for the purpose of business. It can be divided into three sections. Trading for goods to be resold on a wholesale basis. Conduct business transactions for example visiting a client, contract negotiations. Attending a conference, exhibition or event associated with their business. It also includes special trips when workers are given a reward or a thank you for good work. This is known as an incentive tour. Although the main reason for traveling is work, not pleasure, people traveling on business need to relax, and they may take advantage of a business trip to visit local tourist attractions. Business travelers have special needs such as internet access, telephone communications, secretarial services, business meeting arrangements and many more. Niche tourism responds to individual tastes and also promotes difference in tourism. Specialist tour operators target small, easily identifiable sectors of the tourism market, the market niches. Although the number of potential buyers is quite small, niche tourism is profitable because the buyer is often willing to pay more in order to get the holiday they want and the marketing costs for a specific niche are much cheaper too. Literally anything has the potential to become a niche tourism product, from cosmetic surgery to pilgrimage.
extreme tourism or discovering your family's past, genealogy. Niche tourism has a thousand different faces, holidays for senior citizens, tours for the disabled, gastronomic holidays, tours geared towards the gay community, photographic holidays, dark tourism, visiting places with sinister and macabre histories, and many more. While tourism can bring money into an area, it can also bring overcrowding and criminal activity. A city that becomes a tourist trap often loses the feel of its community. Tourists may engage in more risky behaviors for example consumption of drugs and alcohol and prostitution. Hotels and attractions take over residential districts and parks. Increasing demand for basic services, goods or real estate from tourists may dramatically increase costs and prices that negatively affect local residents. Tourism is a powerful but sometimes dangerous force in the modern world. Tourism creates many good jobs and careers, but it also produces many poor and badly paid jobs. Tourism can help to protect environments and animal life, but it can also damage them. Tourism can save cultures and the local way of life, but it can also destroy them. Tourism can change countries and people for the better, but it can also change them for the worse. If too many people go to a particular place and so damage the natural or cultural resources. In this respect, it is important to educate visitors so that they are sensitive to both the physical and the cultural environments of the area they are visiting. We need to remind them to take away only photos, leave only footprints, 